Difficulty there. Uh, we're back now, just getting things sorted. Having to film it on my iPad, which is a bit frustrating, but we'll just we'll just start over. again. Don't know quite what's going on. I think it's my phone. It's a bit old like me. Never mind. <laughs> Many a good tune played on an old fiddle as they always say. So we need red, yellow, blue and white. We don't need any black for this painting. This painting is the rainbow for the NHS. If you want to proceed, um, if you want to donate today, all of the proceeds are going to go to the NHS to thank them for all the fab things they're doing at the minute because it's really tough. Um, the painting... Well, I've got a link up for the uh, fundraising page on one of our previous posts because you've got a special page for the fundraising just to see how much this live stream raises. So it'd be great if everyone who joins in today could try and donate, that'd be great. Um, I'll put the link on after this live stream when we all comment our pictures and things as usual. Thank you, Amber. My production team are working hard as always. We need their help, um, as we do always, and they're very good. Thank you. Amber actually designed the painting today. She designed it because that is going to be a job when she's uh, older and qualified. She's going to be studying in September to be um, a card designer, surface designer, stuff like that, textiles. Going to be a fab job. She's going to be great at it. Right, um, we are going to start by sketching in our painting. You need three paints with white, red, yellow, blue, white, three brushes, big, medium, and small. They're mine. Mine's really big, really medium, and really small. You just need something sort of similar to that, guys. And what we're going to do is sketch in, first of all, where everything's going to go. Now, I'm going to do this in blue today. You can do it in blue too. Is everyone ready to start? Yeah. Is everyone ready to start? Yeah. Put a thumbs up here if you're ready to start. Okay. We're going to sketch in. We're going to do the clouds first. Can you see? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry about that. And we're going to go like that. You don't have to make the noise. I just find it helps when I'm doing clouds. Now I'm going to have the rainbow starting from there and coming down to, that's going to be the middle of my rainbow. So this cloud I'm going to have covering like this. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to put in the sun, which I'm going to have right over this corner like that and then I'm going to stand still and let you catch up. You can do it in blue today because the background's blue. Okay, I'll just leave it there so you can catch up and I want you all to put this painting in your window. When we finish, I'm going to tell you, you can put on the NHS, you can put on hearts, you can do anything you like when you finish it. You've got to make it your own painting, okay? So we've painted the sun and two clouds so far. I think we're almost sorted with all our equipment now. We're going to put this other rainbow in, or not other, the rainbow, and we're going to go like that. Can you see that all right, Amber? And like that. It's just getting slightly bigger at the bottom. We might make that a bit wider, but we'll do that later. 
So like that. And like that. Sorry about that. There's the phone. It's all going well today. It's all go today, isn't it? Goodness gracious. Sorry, I'm about the wobbling camera, guys. I'm just trying to find a good way to get this iPad propped up. Um, which is, oh, God, sorry, proving to be very difficult. Hold on, there, okay. The production team aren't doing very well today, are they, dear me? Sorry, we've got someone ringing up to ask about where, how we find the live stream. So if you guys just get up to that point and we'll pick it up in just a second. It's all going a bit wrong today. There we go. Are we all set up, darling? Yes, we're having a few technical problems, but we're nearly there now. Is anyone on, Amber? 70 people, yes. Oh, 70 people. 70 people seeing the calamitous start to today's proceedings. Okay, never mind. We shall press on. We've got our rainbow in, we've got our sun, and we've got our cloud. We're going to put our other cloud. Oh, actually, should we leave the, we'll leave the other cloud till the end. Okay. Let's get going. You need your big brush. I'm going to wet it and dry it on a cloth. I'm going to get some paint. I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to put a little bit of blue into it. We want a lighter blue. So there, I've got a lovely light blue. And I'm just going to slap that on all around like that of water and keep it quite wet because we want it to dry quickly and as you know anyone that's done this with me before will know by now it's very strange but if the paint's quite wet it dries quicker if the paint's not wet and very thick it takes forever to dry so we're just going to splodge that on guys you can even with your medium brush go around what we're painting. So I'm going to go around our object. Oh, we've got some music again. Thank goodness. Is everyone, can everyone hear it all right? Can everyone see okay? I just want to make sure everything's a bit better than it was at the start. Sorry about that, guys. We'll have to just use uh, someone else's phone from now on. Yeah, we're not quite sure what's happening. I think I need a new phone. But you know, I need a new everything really. Never mind. What I'm doing is with my medium brush, I'm just going around. Don't worry about this line here, that was a mistake. So I've got my big brush and I'm just Lodging the paint up. Do you know what I've forgotten, guys? Can anyone spot my deliberate mistake? What I've forgotten? I've forgotten my paint t shirt. Very important. I'll do some little shout outs whilst we're watching. We've got um, Hayley from Hampshire. We've got Gemma Grace watching today, we've got Emily age 8 and Shill Bottle, Amy and Erin. We've 
we've got Abby Johnson and everyone again. Grace Winpenny, hi guys. Now we're painting this a lighter blue than my original painting because Amber told me I had to. And she designed this painting, so I've got to do what I'm told. Yeah, it just made the colours a bit look a bit brighter if it's the, the background's a little bit lighter. That's just what okay, I thought. Okay, I mean, okay. Do what you want, though. I know, I will. You can all do what you want, guys. You can all do this any colour. You don't have to do what I've done. I'm just here to give you a bit of inspiration, but you can do whatever you want because, like we've discussed before, you can't do anything wrong. It's just different. And different is good. All artists want to be different. Oh, hi to Jake and Lewis. Ella aged 11 from Newcastle. Lauren with her mum and her sister Emily. Katie Moss from Widrington. Lexi aged 10. Emily and George. Oh, we've got Laura and Anderson and Darcy and oh, Sky hurrah! painting today. Are they painting? I believe so, yeah. And then we've got Ryan and Elizabeth who are painting and Lily aged seven and a half in Long Horsley. The half is important. Now, there's Abby's daughter. No, I think that's right. I might have it wrong. Guys, I've got a real problem with my memory. I'm not just saying that. That's really true. It's, uh, it's, oh, I just have. I've got a problem with my memory. But there was some little girl suggested doing the rainbow, which is why we're doing it. And I think we're going to send her a voucher. So I need her mom to, to remind me what her name is. I think it was, I'll, I'll have a double check. I'm just going to check because she's much better than me. And um, thank you to her for this fabulous idea. Fabulous Sorry. idea. And we are going to send you a voucher so that you can come to one of our parent and child live streams, um, live shows, which will be when everything gets back to normal, guys, we'll go back to normal. And we'll do our normal um, events in the pubs and clubs and things like that. So guys, yeah, as normal, put some thumbs up in if you've caught up and you're ready to carry on. And if you're not, put some sad faces in so we can get an idea of how, um, how everyone's doing. Hi to all the gamers who are painting. Neve's grandma's painting today. Hi. We've got Elliot, age seven. And he's having this as his art lesson today, so that's good. Jasmine. Hi, Jasmine. Sophie Gibb who suggested this. Ah, so, Sophie, that's right, now I remember. Hopefully you're painting today and hopefully that painting's kind of what you had in mind. Yes, Sophie, text us, let us know what you're doing. Are you painting today? Give us a thumbs up and give us a shout out if you are. I think Amber was right, that's a much nicer blue. It's a bit of white in with the blue, which I didn't use last time. Good. I think that's better, Amber. Well done. <laughs> I think the dog wants to be in again. Come in then. We're having a troublesome day today, as always. One of those days, inevitably painted if something doesn't go wrong. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. We've got a lovely blue on, we've got a couple of things sketched in, we're going to put another cloud there, we're going to mark out our lines for the rainbow. We're going to do that all in a minute, guys. Oh, we've got Amara age 10 and Elsie age 5 and Bonnie age 2 painting today. Oh wow, where are they? I'm not sure. 
All right, I've found my painted shirt. I'm a lot happier. I like my painted shirt. This is a painted dress, so it doesn't really matter if I get it, get it painted on because it's a painty dress, but I do feel happier with my painty shirt. I feel I paint better with my painty shirt on, so that's good. We've got a few drips going on, we've got a few splotches. Don't worry about it, guys, I don't worry about it. I just carry on, carry on, carrying on. Right, are we all ready? Thumbs up when yeah, you're ready, I think guys. We're ready to carry on. Okay, we're gonna mark in our lines for our rainbow. We're going to do this with our little brush. And I'm going to do this with my blue again. And what I'm going to do is going to mark in halfway. Does anyone know how many colours are in a rainbow? Now, I didn't know this, but Amber has taught me a rather good saying to remember the colours of the rainbow. Do you want to remind me of it, Amber? I cannot remember this. No, I can't remember it. <laughs> but she has taught me it. It's very good. Come on, Amber. Um, well, we'll see if anyone else knows it first. Can anyone name all the colours in the rainbow? The proper ones in the, uh, in the, the real order. scientific rainbow. That will be a, a challenge. Okay. Uh, a little shout out to whoever gets it right. Right, I've put a line down the middle. Ignore this line, guys. It's where I went wrong earlier. Ignore these. This is where I went wrong earlier. Ignore that. That's where I went wrong earlier. I went wrong earlier. We went quite wrong earlier. We went quite wrong earlier. But we're okay now. And that's all that matters. Okay, so we've got the middle line in. And then I'm going to mark two lines here and here. Here and here. Doesn't matter if they're a bit wonky. Well, that matters. <laughs> that's very wonky, but that's okay. Don't worry. Right, one, two, three. One, two. It is. It's Richard of York gave Battle in Vain, so well done to everyone who got that. Did people um, get it? Yeah. They didn't teach that when I went to school. That must be a new thing that someone's invented. Or you just weren't listening. Mm, maybe. Now luckily, where I've gone really wrong here is the blue line, so I'm just going to put my blue in because I think that might be confusing people. Red, orange, yellow, green, purple, blue, indigo, violet. That's oh! Three different purples in that one. Purple, indigo and violet, are they different? Which one's that? Is that a... There you are, I've put the blue in. Should everyone be doing this? Yeah, put your blue in, because we're, we're, we're using blue. So the blue line is the second from the bottom because it's red, orange, yellow. Oh my gosh, I forgot it there. Which of you all gave? Green, yellow, no. <laughs> it's harder than it seems. Purple and, oh, blue then purple? Actually, we're, we're gonna do. Oh, you done it right. What's we're that? gonna do, guys, easy talk. Purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red is what we're doing. Okay. Whether that's scientifically correct. We don't care. This is a, a it is art, darlings. It can't be wrong. It's just different. A difference, good. Yes, I think it's really going to be great. Um, so tell me when you're all up to speed. We've got, put the blue in and then we're sorted with at least one colour. Jamie, um, we've had someone ask if Jamie's painting today. Jamie is painting today. We're going to take you through in a minute to see him. Who wants to know if Jamie's painting? The gammas. Oh, the gammas. Now, a lady phoned earlier. I don't know if she's managed to get on. She did phone right in the middle of the live stream, which added to the excitement oh, of yes. us not being able to do it. Um, yes, I think everyone saw that part. Was. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the phone through and get my other assistant, my other production person, to phone her and see if she's managed to get on. Because she hasn't got in touch to say she has. So 
our goal for today is that everyone watching has their own unique and beautiful rainbow to display in their own windows when they're at home to show that our support for the NHS and the wonderful job that they've been doing. Um, so obviously even just painting the rainbow shows your support but we will pop on a little link for a fundraiser because we want to try and give back as well. So Guys, you only need to donate if you can, as I always say, don't worry if you can't. If you can't donate, don't worry. But it is a fabulous course. Well, it is a fabulous course, we all know that. Okay, shall we make our purple? Or indigo, yes. or whatever colour we want to call it. Okay, I'm going to use crimson. You use whichever red you do have. You look different, it's on the same one. Oh. oh, yes, I had it over here before. Right, I'm going to get a lump of this crimson. Now, crimson. It's one of the colours, if you're going to go more than the three colours that you definitely need, I would suggest crimson is one of the colours you really want to get. Crimson, yellow ochre and burnt amber are the colours that I would get if I was going to increase my uh, paints. I must write that down for you all. Where's my cloth? Here. Okay. Into my crimson, you just use your normal red. I'm going to put a bit of blue. I'm getting a dark purple, as you can see. And I'm going to put some white into there. And I should get a lighter purple. Hello to Summer Thompson as well, who's painting today, age six. What a lovely name, Summer. I wanted to call you that. We've got um, Eva and Amy and Anvil painting today as well. Right, there we are. Would we say that was indigo? Yeah. I think so. Smudge of white. Then we're going to go on this side and down. Oh, I like that colour. So you've used a bit of red, a little bit of blue, and then you're putting, you'll make a dark purple and then put a little bit of white into your dark purple. Just blend that down. I'm going to try to do it in one swoop because then I'll get a nice neat line. So we've got our indigo and our blue now. We can, we're going to get these pinks on, guys, all of the colours on, and then we can go over them if they're not bright enough. So what we're doing at the minute is just getting them on. We've got the indigo and the blue, and we're going to go for green next. Who knows how to make green? I hope some of my regulars do know by now how to make green. See, I am teaching you all something. I'm teaching you colour mixing, blending. Yeah, you are learning stuff, aren't you? It is like a lesson. Right, we're going to make green now. We're going to get our little brush. We're going to clean it. We're going to dry it. I'm going to get some yellow. On the floor guys never a good thing to do right I'm really washing my brush I'm drying it and I'm gonna get a bit of blue I'll put that into my yellow and I'm gonna make green I might get a little bit more blue. Gosh, 
gosh, there's a lot of paintings back there, isn't there? Look at all these paintings. I hope you've all done a lot of them. Yeah. I think that's a better green for a rainbow. What do you think? So that was blue and yellow. I've messed on till I've got it the sort of green I want. If you want it lighter, put a bit more yellow in. If you want it darker, put a bit more blue in. And then I'm going to wet my brush a bit. I want it so it flows, but not so it drips, guys. And we're going to do green, because that is, Amber says, the next colour. Oh, we've been asked to slow down a little bit, so we'll just I'll get, get the line down and then we'll stop where we are. Yes, and then I shall stop. This is just the underpainting, guys. We're going to get these colours all a bit brighter in a moment. There we are. So we've got indigo blue and green. Fabulous. How's it going, Amber? Let's have a look back here. Slow down, please. Right, we've slowed down. I'm standing over here letting you all get a look at what we're doing. We are going to brighten these colours up in a minute. And have you guys noticed the other big change about our set today? We've got all our paintings in the background, and that is because Mum had a Look North interview yesterday morning. Yes, that's the other thing I meant to say to you. Thank you all so much for the guys that sent in the photos we could use. We're only using photos that have been sent to us specifically for that because I know some of the, we've got oh hundreds of gorgeous photos guys, we really have. There was one I particularly wanted to use of a family and they didn't get back in touch, but never mind, never mind. We're only using the ones that we were sent to us and we've got some videos that are just so Thank you so much gorgeous. for the videos. Everyone who sent them, they were amazing and so lovely. We got a bit emotional, didn't we, watching yes, them? Yes, I did get emotional watching them. I can't believe that you're all enjoying it so much. I'm really, really, really pleased and happy and glad that you're all enjoying it so much. It's made me feel really good and, and Amber's really pleased about it as well. We both really like doing it and um, we're really pleased you like doing it as well. So we'll be putting a little, will we find out more about if it gets, even if it doesn't, it might not get on air. So if it does, yeah. if it does get put on, we will find out and we'll put a little post on the page so everyone can keep an eye. When, on. when it will be on. We couldn't choose which photographs, guys. So we, we sent them all for them to choose and we couldn't choose which videos to use so, either. Yeah, so we don't sent be them all. If, don't be sad if yours doesn't get featured. I they think they all, all should be on. But, you know, I don't think they'll have time for that because they've got other important things they've got to talk about, apparently. Do you know, I don't know what. I don't know what could be as important as this, but apparently they have. <laughs> anyway, never mind. I'm just really glad you're all enjoying it. And I'm really glad it's taken your mind off, off other things that are going on, which are rubbish at the moment, aren't they? So anyway, never mind, I'm just really And um, if your videos don't get featured whenever the if the show goes on, it doesn't it's okay because I think we're gonna probably use some of those videos later at later yes. dates anyway to show kind of how much people have been enjoying it. And yeah, we're awesome. gonna we're gonna stick them on my website in the future, and you know they're they're fabulous. They are so absolutely will still gorgeous. be used. Don't worry about that. And all of them were fabulous. My some of the growing up ones were a bit questionable, but you know there you go. Well, some of them probably were taking the tiddly a bit too seriously. Yes, I think some of them were taking <laughs> the tiddly a little too seriously. Okay, guys, we're gonna put the next colour in. What's the next colour? Yellow, I think, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> yellow! Right, get your brush clean. So give it a good old splodge in the water. Splodge, splodge, splodge. And then I'm going to check it on my cloth to see if it's clean. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Then I'm going to get some yellow. And I'm just going to slide down here with my yellow. 
I'm going to go over the blue line with the yellow. It's probably going to show through, but that's okay because we're going to go over this all anyway. So just splodge it on, guys. Don't worry about it. We're just splodging. You can't do anything wrong. This is art and it's all for fun. We've got a message saying Ella has loved the live streaming from Michelle Rippington. Thank you. She's got an art gallery of her paintings in her house. <gasps> wow! Can we have a photo of Ella's art gallery? And Ella! If we haven't already. We might do. We might already have Ella. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's great. What's nice about this is obviously it gives you something to do what, during this time and at the end you'll have a gallery of photos to painters to show your... Uh, show oh, you give you to people! You won't have to buy anyone presents, you can just give them paintings! That's what I do! <laughs> yeah, it's really good. You don't have to buy presents. You just give them paintings you've done and everyone always goes, oh, thank you. Honest. Try it and see. Right, next colour, orange. Clean your brush, doesn't need much cleaning because we've just done yellow. Move some of your yellow, put a bit of red in, and you should get a lovely orange. So today we have learned how to make purple, we have learned how to make green, and we are learning how to make orange. So don't ever let anyone say you haven't learned anything in Tiddly Painters. You have. Right, orange. Oh, look at that orange. Isn't that lovely, Amber? Lovely, yeah. The blue's showing through. I'm not gonna let that worry me, as always. We'll sort that out later. That's the thing with art, guys. Never let anything worry you. Just keep going. It's the people who, I'll tell you the people who aren't good at art. I discovered this when I was teaching. It's the people that go, oh my God, it's rubbish. I'm stopping now. They're the ones that never get better. The ones that get better are the ones that go, oh my God, it's rubbish. I'll keep going. That's, that can apply to anything as well, really. Not just art. Anything you want to do, just keep going. Yeah, I think so, yes. Absolutely, you're right Amber, that would apply to anything. Art is a good thing though to use for everything. You can use art for everything. You can lose yourself doing art. You can tell a story doing art. You can say something grumpy doing art. Huh. And that, if you want to do something grumpy paint and doing art, you just paint it all black and red. That will look grumpy. Okay, I'm going to stick the last colour on. Don't worry if I'm going too fast, because once I've got the last colour on, I'm going to stand back and let you all catch up. And that's just red, and I'm going for the pure red that I've got here. Not the crimson red, that wouldn't work as well. I'm going for my pure red. more water up there, we want it to flow a bit more, but we don't want it to drip. Doesn't matter if it does drip, they're all sorted out. I'm having my rainbow getting slightly bigger at the end because Amber said I had to. <laughs> I didn't say you had to, I just You said, did. It adds a bit of perspective if it gets larger. That's what she again. said, that's what she said. Which we didn't do it the first time that you did, just saying. While I'm here and waiting for you to catch up, I'm going to touch up my orange. It's merging into the red, but that doesn't matter. We're going to sort that out in a minute. Yeah, if the colours have merged together a bit, don't worry. I'm just going to see how they're doing. I think they should merge a little bit. You see how they're doing? Because we could go through with the camera in a minute while we're waiting. Jamie's painting today, guys. Okay, how are we doing? Oh, 
Susie's watching. Hi, Susie. You should be painting too. Actually, save yourself for um, Friday. On Friday, we're doing another an adult live stream. I can't remember what we're doing though. Amber might know. Oh, I think we're doing uh, Bambra Castle. Yeah, we're doing Bambra Castle. It's up there. That's what we're painting on Friday night, Bambra Castle, guys. We're doing that with a glass of wine. I'm going to tell Amber she can't swear, though. But, you know, it's meant to be adults only. So she really has to swear she can, I suppose. Oh, 16 by 20 inches. That's the size of canvas I'm using. Yes, it does. I, I use that one so you can all see. But, yes, it, they are big. Um, you'd be better just with a canvas board than a proper canvas. Get a canvas board and probably about, what well, you know, you could do the 16 by 20 if you've got enough paint. Right, we're going to let that just dry for a little while, guys. And we might go through and see Jamie painting. I'll go and see where he's up to. Bring it through so we can have a little look. Oh gosh, I'm dropping all the apparatus as I'm doing it. Hold on. I'm coming through with the camera. All right, she's coming through. Oh no, where's the right camera? The camera, right? Come and have a look at the paintings. Da -da. Here's Jamie's painting. Jamie? Jamie. You Jamie, are you being shy? You're no, being camera shy. shy. I don't take a photo. It's not a photo. It's not a photo, you're right. Look, oh. look at Jamie's painting. It's look at gorgeous. Pictures. <laughs> and here's Lewis. Lewis who's in quarantine with us. Yeah. Because I didn't want forcing him to, forcing the, him to pay. The other production oh, assistant. Oh, He's the one I didn't no, want. No, yeah, I, I thought it was better to have Lewis here than a heartbroken teenager. It just seems more, more, more sensible. Come on then. Come on then. Fabulous job, guys. Yeah. Jamie's is much better than yours, Lewis. <laughs> How's everyone doing? If they're at the right point with their rainbows, we see some thumbs up, and then we'll uh, move on to the next stage. Gosh, this iPad is not the best for picking up. We had a little look behind. Oh, we've got some thumbs up and things coming in. So great stuff. in the background of our setting today so can anyone see one that we've not done so far well i've told them that we're doing bambra castle so you've on already... friday oh am i confused am i you are confused darling i think on thursday we're either was... doing a i'll go and get it i'll go and get it oh a cockerel i'll go and get the both and then we can do a little vote because that's okay. always fun to see what people uh, leaning towards i'll go and grab them okay 
cockerel and a cow, darling. already. Should we just leave it like that and just have a cup of tea and a chat? She's a bit yellow yellow. That's a bit too yellow. I think I need to put some more orange in there. What do you think guys? We'll do that in a minute. What we're going to do in a second is we're going to paint on the son's tendrils. I'm calling them tendrils because I think my son does look like a, a sea anemone. That's what I was going for. I wasn't going for your stereotypical son. I was going for a more sea anemone type of son. Yes. I did it deliberately. That is another thing to say about your art, your paintings when they're finished. If anyone ever says anything, you say, yes, I did that deliberately. If they ever say anything that isn't quite, you know, what you intended, you just go, yeah, I did that on purpose. Do you like it? And they'll go, yeah, yeah, it's cool. No matter what they think, honestly, that's what happens. I know. Anyway, there we go. So we've got our sun in, we've got our rainbow in. Got a bit of a drip there, I'm just gonna get rid. Right, I'm gonna stick, no I'm not, I'm gonna clean my little brush. I'm going to get some white. We're going to paint these tendrils in with white to begin with. And we're going to do the long ones first. And we're going to have them wavy. We're going to have them coming almost to the rainbow. I'm doing the long ones first. Every now and then. Um, we've got some people asking about Time Bridge and the, the Lady. We're going to be probably doing those in the adult sessions on the Friday night. So we'll kind of spread them out over the, the following few weeks. Oh, we're going to be, listen guys, face it, we're going to be here forever. See you now. We've got forever to do it. God knows when we're going to let us out. <laughs> here we are. We have a lot of cockles and a lot of cows, I've noticed. But these are the ones I thought were the best. Oh now, do you like that cockerel best? That's not my favourite cockerel. Oh, to do that. Here's our dog again. Opening the door. And then another Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. I think it's yeah. I'm not sure it's my favourite. Don't say that, you make the vote bias. We've got option number one. I'm not sure next. it's my favourite cockerel, is what I'm saying. That's a cockerel. Option number one for this Thursday. And then here is, here's option number two. It's in here. No, no, I'm looking for another cockerel. It's not in here. Oh, okay. And then option number two. Oh, no, this is my favourite cow. He is by far my favourite cow. I love him. I've done a few cows, but this is my favourite. He's got like a real look about him in fact the reason he's my favorite is he does look like my dog lulu come here and show them how much you look come on up come on up show them how much you look <laughs> you might have to lift her up a little bit put the ball back show them how much you look like this cow well she can't, she does she can't understand you she does she understands every word i say right um, i'll leave her there come here <laughs> Can you see? Lula. Can you yeah. see how much she looks like the cow? Can you? Yeah, everyone's going for the cow. I think the cow's got to happen. <laughs> I like the cow. And she does look like Tallulah. She's got um, Tallulah's face. And sort of the cow's got like funny jowls like Tallulah. And pink around there. Anyway, I love the cow. Anyway. Up to you, of course. I'm not trying to influence you in any way, but I do love the cow. Yeah, I think the cow is the winner here. And that's for Friday night. On Friday night, guys, we drink wine and Amber swears, as I've said. Me? No, don't, don't spread such rumour around me. God, we've got the cat in now, we've got the dog in, we've got everything going on, guys. 
Sorry. So it's so amateurish. I can't believe anyone watches us. Anyway, never mind. Never mind. I'm sorting my tendrils out. I'm not happy with my tendrils. Keep keep doing your tendrils. Sort of hoping I might get a cup of tea in a minute. But you know, probably a vain vain hope. I think that one's too long and these ones are too short. But you know, it doesn't matter, we'll sort it out later. See if you can get my other production assistant to do it. Little ones here swirling. They can swirl over if you like. But only if you want it to look like a sea anemone. If you want to look at, make it look like a real sun, I'll just keep them going straight down, really. It's just not quite like the, the sea and enemy sort of feel. That's me though, guys. You don't have to do that. Does that, oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lose the length of that one. So I'm going to go in with a wee bit of blue. Are we going for the cow, Albert? If we yeah, I think the it? cow's the uh, the overarching champion of our boat. Yeah, he is lovely. Oh, we've got a lovely message from Summer who says we're cool. Thank you, Summer. You're cool also. Oh, with a name like Summer, that was another name I wanted to call you, Amber. Ruby. Summer. Hey. Sorry, dog bite my slippers. I wasn't talking to you. What was the other name? There you are. It's almost gone, guys. It'll go in a minute. The, uh, what I found when I was doing the sun, it, it, you can imagine that the, uh, the rays are sort of kind of like like tentacles, if that makes oh, sense. Oh, I've just said that. You weren't here. I said what I've decided with my sun is it's like a sea anemone. It's not a yeah, sun. I tried to go for like quite... Um, a stylized look. Yes, Amber's designed this painting, as I said earlier. Not the one that you've done, the uh, one that's on Facebook. The, uh, yeah. I did it digitally, so that's why it doesn't look the same. Yeah. As so it's a di it was a digital. That's going to be her job when she. Uh, Hopefully. When she leaves home. If I ever get to leave. <laughs> yes. Joking. Are you? <laughs> okay. Are your rainbows dry? Is everyone up to speed? You can't get the greys, the rays right. Oh, just wiggle them around. Guys, you don't have to do them wiggly. You could just do them straight. It's just I did them wiggly because I thought they looked like a sea and enemy. You can do them any way you want. Don't worry. There's no, there's no right or wrong. You can do them any way you want. Does it work with all those paintings? 
painting things in the background because we thought it was quite successful at blocking out um, the, some the, of the sun, sunlight yes. from getting in because it kind of makes it all hard to see but it might also be too busy so just let us know what you think about that as well I we're think always, it's good because it looks trying like to improve, aren't we? yes we're not succeeding but never mind okay guys we're going back to our big brush I'm going to get some clean water and a cup of tea I was making a cup of tea, it's just well, where boiling, is it? boiling the kettle. You can't it. Okay, cleaning my brush, drying my brush, wetting my brush. I'm going in with my big brush, guys. And I'm just going to sort the clouds out with some white. My brush is a bit mucky. But that's okay. This is our first coat on our uh, clouds. We're probably going to have to do two coats. We are sort of trying to organise new paint packs if anyone wants them. Um, we're getting different, easier stuff, I think, to, uh, to post and to deliver. We shall, um, we shall put it on Facebook and we'll, do, we'll show you exactly what you're getting in each pack. Oh, I might just do one pack and forget the professional one. Anyway, we'll, we'll have a think about it. There you are, just sort of painted them in, in white to begin with. They've got a bit mucky in places, that's fine. I'm gonna do another coat and tidy them up in a minute with a smaller brush. Going in with my other cloud, with the white. A lovely loopy movement like that to create the shape of the clouds. at a later date do the flamingo again because we lost the flamingo we weren't allowed to stream that because we had the dodgy music well it wasn't dodgy music it was really good music this is dodgy music um, I'm just going to do it all a bit yellowy in this first coat because of that but never mind it'll dry It'll dry and we'll sort it, guys, as always. Right, I'm going to get my middle brush, really wash it and dry it. I'm going to check that my rainbow's dry. I'm going to sketch the other one in. See, that's the thing. I don't know. Caramba isn't here. I can't tell. She's busy making tea or something. Else. Okay. So just something like that. So just a worry clothes. Colour it in white. Your tea. Thank you. Yeah. 
hard to cover up your paint because you've got sort of thinner paint. You can just let it dry and sort it out later on. Oh, we're going to put another coat on these anyway. Because this will be on um, on the Facebook page for a few days and on YouTube after that. So you can always stop and come back to it, etc. Yes, I know that this can be a bit of a long time for um, people L to Lilies. concentrate. But you can always just come back to it. After a couple of days, it goes onto YouTube anyway. So, you know, it's up there forever. There. We're going to tidy up. Our next thing is to tidy up our rainbow. Put the colour in here. Sort out our sun. Finish our uh, clouds. And then the final touch are a few dots splattered around. Which look good. Thank you for the tea, darling. No biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing for thumbs up? Yeah, guys, pop your thumbs up in once you uh, fill the clouds in. Oh, Abby Johnson, four of you painting. if you go in another room. Have a look at it, see what you think, and change it up if something's not quite right. Right, I'm going to go over my rainbow. I'm going to use my middle brush. I've got some crimson left. Just going to put a bit of blue in there, just a little bit, a bit of white. I think I've made a colour that I prefer. I don't think it's uh, indigo, but never mind. I think I like it more. Just going over the top, just so that the colours are, are very bright, guys. I'm carefully going down to my cloud this time. We are going to touch up our clouds, so don't worry if you get a bit on there. Can you see this all right, Amber, on the screen? Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing um, pictures of everyone's after this. Oh, yeah. Uh, proudly displayed in all your windows. Oh, yes, we want them in windows, guys. And that they're all ready for the uh, 8 o'clock sound thing. The clapping. Yes. There we are. Indigo. I'm cleaning my brush. I'm drying my brush. I'm cleaning it again because it's still indigo. Still indigo. There we are, blue. I'm gonna go in with the blue. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of white in this blue just to make it a bit. I don't know, it's just I don't I'm not liking the blue very much. What do you think, Amber? It's nice. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah, I think once it's all cleaned up, I think it's the, the green for me. Yes, the green maybe. I like the blue. This stage really does just kind of clean it all up though, doesn't it? And yeah. Really make it more vibrant. Well, that's what I'm hoping to do, but... How's everyone doing? Is anyone stuck? Is anyone are we going too fast? Just let us know. Anyone sick of the music? Please let us know. <laughs> Try 
try and make a, a more attractive green. I think the problem with the green is I haven't got lemon yellow. This is why you need the different colours, guys. Um, to get really great colours, you need two yellows, two reds, two blues. I'll write a list of all the colours you really need. You can make do with one, but they're not as good. I can make a darker green. Do you think a darker green might be better? Amber? Yeah, maybe. I think I'm going to have to go and get some lemon yellow. Oh, it's fine. It's not that. It's fine. Susie Warren, see if she's going to join us on Friday with the wine and the uh, the cow. Cow's on Thursday. Oh, oh is it? Oh, it's Bamber Castle. Is oh, I'm losing the. I'm going to make a bit more orange. Why is that? Because uh, the green's still wet and I want, to, I want to put the yellow on quite thick. So yeah, that's a good idea everyone. If you snip out the yellow here, we'll put it on later just because your green will still be damp and you don't want them to bleed into each other at this point. And I'm desperate to cover that blue line all through my orange. Can you see that? Mm. So I'm going to put a coat on, leave it to dry, and then I'm going to put another coat on in a minute. Maybe you can cover it with red. I don't want the orange to be too thin though, Amber. You're not thinking, are you? Mm. The orange is splodged into the uh, red. I'm going to make a brighter orange in a minute. Can you see what I'm doing over there, Amber? Am I on screen? Yeah. I'm just putting the red in and I'm covering over the bits of blue. Perhaps we should have done that in the yellow, do you think? Never mind. I'm going to make a brighter orange and we've got the yellow to put in as well. We'll do that in a minute. Brighter orange, I'm going to make a bit more yellow into the orange that I'd already made.
leave that to dry. So I'm leaving it all to dry and then I'm going to redo the yellow. You all catch up guys. I'm going to drink my tea. I'm coming round to see what you're all doing. Pick the cow, please. Oh, Alan Ramsey. Loving this Alexandra. Not quite sure what he means. He's talking to someone else. Why are you talking to someone else on our live stream? Go saying, away! Go away, that? Alan Ramsey, and no, talk to Alexandra no. somewhere else! No, Dear is me. he not saying that Alexandra's potentially his daughter who said loving this? Oh, I don't know. It's just chatting to someone else instead of concentrating on his painting. You'd love the flamingo too. Shall we do the flamingo again, Amber? No, why? Did you not like the flamingo? It's not like, no, I do like it. I just feel like we've... You feel like, your flamingo doubt? I potentially have, like, reached my end of the flamingo. But what about that little boy talking about a flamingo on the video who called it the mingo? Oh, so cute. What we could do is, we could do another flamingo. A different one. A different flamingo. We'll do a different flamingo, guys. If we're still here on... Where, where are we now? What's the date now, for God's sake? What day is it? It's Tuesday, because we're doing this. It's about the 20th, is it? Yeah, something like that. No, yeah. no, it's past that. Is it? 21st. 21st. So if we're still here in the middle of May, May we'll do the flamingo. Mm -hmm. But a different flamingo, not the same flamingo. Yeah, it'll be fun. We'll press on. Guys, you want your little brush? Clean your little brush. Got that lovely orange one made. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some of my tendrils with orange. I did them in white just so we wouldn't have to go over and over and over and over them. She said going over and over and over it. Just some of them, just willy nilly, nilly willily. What time is it, Amber? Uh, just about twenty past three. Okay. We try not to go over two hours. We won't. Don't want you to get bored. Especially Alan Ramsey, who wants to be off with Alexandra. Colour. So I've got a bit of orange there and I'm going to put a tiny bit of blue in. I'm just making like the murky yellow really. That'll do. Murky yellow. And then I'm going to do some murky yellow and some white.
then the last few remaining ones I'm going to do with my bright yellow. Ooh. We've had some people asking for the Angel of the North. Oh no, I've <laughs> had people ask about that before. We'll we'll do that one, we'll do that and one of the adult ones coming up. Yeah, we've had another we've had a few people that would like to do another flamingo. We've had someone who suggested a peacock in the same technique as the flamingo, which would be nice. Oh, All right, yeah. Um we've had uh a recommendation to do some a meadow of flowers for a kids one. So we've had loads of people suggest Oh yeah, things. yeah guys do come up with their suggestions because Amber can never think of what to do. Me. <laughs> And that's her job as part of the production team. What isn't my job? Huh? What isn't my job as part of the production team anymore? No. Dear me. After the towdery start today. <laughs> Right guys, it's not great at the minute, but we are we could put another coat on. I might not bother today, but you can. <laughs> well I'm not here anymore. Um what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my middle brush. Give it a good old swoosh. I'm gonna get some of my orange. And I'm gonna sort of scoop around there. because I want to keep it yellower at the centre, as I've just said. I wanted to sort of gradually get more vibrant as it comes out. I might actually put... Yeah, a bit of red around just the uh, the edge and blend that in. Looks Very really nice. Edge, yeah. Ooh, we've had a suggestion, maybe a boat on a lake, because people there. Uh, well, Ella says she'd like to learn how to paint water, which is hard. It's oh, tricky, though. Right, oh, yeah, I flipped it onto me. Sorry, guys. There's a little sneak peek. <laughs> I keep doing that. That's so embarrassing. I've got no makeup on. Anyway, oh, yeah, oh gosh, crop that out the YouTube edit. <clears throat> and just want to try to look at people's comments. Yeah, a few for meadow flowers. Um, we've had a suggestion for a paintbrush and paint pot or paint. Oh right, yeah, yeah, that would be fun. I always do that. I always flip the camera around onto myself. Sunflower. We've got a beautiful sunflower one actually. I think that's in the bath today, isn't it? In the sunflowers. Yeah, can we get it out if you're at the back? I don't really want to get on camera again. Alright. Right, I'm going over my orange again, guys. If your orange is already vibrant, you don't need to do that. It's just to kind of, if it merged in the red and the orange. Well, I've got a blue line with mine. Or if you've got a blue line. Just not covering up. I think doing that to the sun, making it darker at the edge, is, is, is very effective. And that sort of brought it more together, don't you? Yes. Nearly there now. No. I'm running a bit of yellow through my uh, orange. Trying to make a 
bit brighter. Orange, I'm struggling today. It's because I've limited myself to uh, three panes. It is diff more difficult with the three panes to get exactly, you can get an approximation of the colour. You can't get exactly the colour you want. You need six colour panes to do that, at least. But that, that do, I think. I'm going in with a red on the edge. We just neaten up the paint, guys. If yours is already there, again, leave it. You don't want to overdo it, but if you've got kind of lines and odd marks here and there, or kind of wiggly edge, now's the time to kind of straighten yeah. it up a bit of paint. The music stopped. Yeah, it was a bit of a relief. Some other suggestions we've got. I'll do it carefully as to not blind everyone with my face or zoomed in like that again. A skyline. Oh, we've got. Oh yeah, New York. New York, New York. That's a what good one. Wonderful time. We've got Pegasus in mid-flight. Oh my goodness gracious! We're getting very ambitious. Is this for the adult one? Well, I see the Pegasus is for the kids one. All right. We've got a beehive scene. Oh, whatever that entails. That might be interesting actually, bees. Could be a charity one. For bees? Yes. Well they're but they're becoming extinct, aren't they? Oh bees they're probably doing really endangered. well at the moment. There's no pollution or anything. They're, they're probably having a ball on the bees. Seaside beach hut. Oh yes, now I'd like to do that. That's nice, I like that idea. Are you writing them down, Emma? Because I'll forget. Ah, he's a beekeeper, Dave. That's why that was the ah. suggestion. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Could we just do a bee? I think I'd rather just do a close-up of a bee. I like that when you filled that in. Cleans it up, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it was just the underpainting. Oh, a lighthouse. Well, that's a bit like. You could beach. do a nice beach scene, you couldn't do it. Yeah. Beach huts and a lighthouse on the end. Sorry, this music's dreadful. It is. If we're not got anything else. I keep asking people, musicians I know, if they'll do me some cover versions, because I'm sure if they do cover versions of songs, we could play them. Oh, Dave says um, he could get some pictures of bees for you. Oh, that would be good. Uh, a windmill is another suggestion. That would be nice. Dave, you get something that you'd like, you send us something that you think would be a good bee painting. How's everyone doing? Is everyone just filling in their clouds? Do you see how that just makes it pop when they're filled in like that? Just tidies it up a bit, guys. That's all we're doing. Right, I'm getting my little brush. I'm cleaning it. Don't worry if you're not up to speed. This isn't tricky. I'm just going to put white dots on here and there. I'm not painting them on. I'm jabbing them. Jabbing them on. You can have a couple going onto the rainbow as well. That's quite nice. Yes, but I haven't done the yellow yet, so I'm not going to. Yeah. There. I am going to put some on in white 
after I've done the yellow. I need to do the yellow in the middle. Very thin, very thin yellow. Oh, a thistle. Oh, a thistle, that would be lovely, guys. Oh, I fancy a thistle. Who said a thistle? Alan Ramsey. Now, you do remember the girl who suggested the rainbow, Sophie? Sophie, send us your address, Sophie, and we're going to send you a um, voucher to so come to one come of the live one of ones. Our, our real classes once we're back on, because we do parent and child events on the regular in uh, pubs and things like that and restaurants. Yeah. Normally, uh, obviously in Northumberland, as long as you live near here. Yeah, but don't do them in Sweden, I'll get told. Oh, Dave's going to look through his back catalogue of bee pics. That's very good indeed, thank you. And we've got another suggestion, sunrise over a beach from okay. Lily. I think a beach scene would be lovely. Yeah, should we do that? Well, yeah, because we could all do with it. Pretending we're on the beach right now. Something like that would be good, wouldn't it? Is Jamie still painting? Do you I know? think he might have given up a while ago. I'll, I'll, I'll double check. Yeah, Jamie gets bored with painting after a while. He wants to go and do things like play with his wiggles or... Uh, he likes watching Friends. Things like that. I'm going to go back in with my orange. God, it's never ending this orange. I hope they're not having the same problems as me today, guys, making orange. I used to think I was good at making colours. Okay, it's yellow and red. And I've even got, you know, I keep going on about the six colours. I've got the right yellow. I've got cadmium yellow. And I've got proper red, true red. Should make a lovely orange, but it's just not really happening. might sort of slightly bleed into each other. I could go round them with black or I don't really want to uh... right. Yeah that's better. Okay what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get my little brush Sort of blue. Keep 
bit wet because I want it quite flowy and I'm just going to put in some funny swirls here and there. I'm doing them quite stylized. A hedgehog. Oh wow! A puppy in front of a sunset. Oh wow! A puppy. I only paint boxer dogs, guys. because I didn't want it too blue, I wanted it a murky sort of colour. So it was blue and white and then a tiny bit of red. I'm going into my dots with the colours of the rainbow. Yes, yeah, so you're going over those, those white dots. Oh, how about an ostrich on emu? We do have a fabulous ostrich, don't we? Oh, we do. Where is the ostrich? In the... shall I get it? In the yeah. shed. If you want to, I don't know. That's a good idea for a kid's one potentially, isn't it? As well. Should I go and grab it? Yeah. If you want to. I need a touch of yellow. I've used all my yellow, tried to make orange unsuccessfully. I'd forgotten about him. Right, there we are guys. I think that's just about finished. You could go over those a bit. I would if I was going to uh, sell it. <laughs> okay. There we are. Finished guys. Let's have a look at the ostrich. Are these the kids one next week potentially? Um Unless we've got any other good suggestions, we'll have a look through. But there is always the ostrich. I rather love the ostrich. He's been through the wars a bit. He's got a bit murky, a bit dirty. But yeah, he's really nice to do. You sort of need a feather paintbrush though. A fan paintbrush. I don't think many people will have one. Well, let us know if you like that, anyway. 
gorgeous eyelashes, lovely eyes. But um, we really hope everyone's enjoyed today because it is for such a great cause. And I'm going to put a post on uh, in in due course because we'll leave this camera up for a minute just so everyone can catch up. And then if you keep an eye on the page, I'm going to put a post up and that will include the link for our fundraiser because we're trying to raise a bit of money for the NHS and all of that will go towards the NHS. So please feel free to donate if you can. That'd be really great. Yeah, that would be really, really great. Just if you can, though, if you can't afford to, don't worry, uh, as we always say. And, and there are our love to see everyone's pictures yes. in the comments, in your windows or anywhere you want to display. It would be fabulous if you could see all of those together as well in the comments of that post. So just keep an eye on the page and it should be on in 10, 20 minutes. Okay, and yeah, we do. We really, really, really want to see your uh, paintings because that makes us really happy. So anyway, in your windows, um, or anywhere, anywhere, guys, just holding them up's good. Okay, thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed today. We have, haven't we, Amber, sort of? Yeah, we have. It's been great to, yeah. obviously the beginning was a bit ropey, but it's been great to sort of celebrate the, uh, the, the NHS, work, the NHS yes. and this beautiful rainbow. To show all the Which has become the symbol of the NHS. Amber was right, it's better this colour blue than that colour blue. <laughs> she was correct, as always. Okay, thank you guys. Yes. See you soon. Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you.